Okay, so we're going to dinner and we're going to the Indian place. It's Hare Krishna place, beautiful little buffet. We've got a whole lot of water here and we've got our serving dishes. We bring our own because they're big <laughs> and we want to just load them up every time. So we'll see you at the buffet. Hey, fruit bats and root bats. We root are heading root bats. Root? Root, like root veggie. We're heading to Indian, Indian feast buffet. Hare Krishna. Yep. And I was just talking to Harley about a question that I get often. So I can't really have my head in the full frame because I'm driving. And that is, um, why do you eat raw till four? Why don't you have starch all day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? You know, because I like eating fruits. For what breakfast. you know, starch solution versus raw till four? That sort of question. And yeah, I love eating fruits. Fruits are fruits are my sugar queen. Addicts. Fruits are my queen. Sugar addicts here. Yeah, I love it. Simple sugars. But you not might not like sweets. Bit you might, louder, like, you might not like sweet. You might just want savouries. So you just go with what you like, but we like fruits. No, no, no. It, it's a, bit, a little bit more than that, though. You know, the body, we are anatomically frugivores by design. So we're designed to have a lot of simple sugars from fruit. Like, we're just designed to do that. So the further we move away from the high fruit lifestyle, the less healthy, vibrant, and happy we are. That's what I find. Yeah, you need you definitely as well. You, you need, need a certain sugars. quota. You need a certain quota every day. Yeah. And like, simple of course, sweet simple sugars. Yeah, and of course you can thrive on starches. You can, but it's never going to be as good as having um, fruit for breakfast and lunch. Yeah, no. The simple sugars, man. That's, that fructose is so important to eat. Yeah. You got to get the fructose in, and this is not hating on Dr. McDougall or his plan because I love Dr. McDougall. It's awesome. It's made more than anywhere else in the planet. Yeah, do do the McDougal program if you want to for sure, but don't fool yourself and think it is better than having fruit during the day for breakfast and lunch because it just isn't. But if you like, if you don't like fruit, then yeah, it's going to work better. For Who you. does not like good fruit? Seriously, or know. good organic, sweet, ripe fruit. Well, some people can't get it. Well, yeah, if you can't today. get it, that's a different story. Everybody loves it if they've got. Um, Access to it. And well, no, they afford it or no, if their taste buds are not corrupted, everybody loves it. Everyone loves good quality fruit. Yeah, but it's hard to get good but, quality fruit. But if you can't get it, yeah, definitely go starchy. But personally, I would rather look like a strawberry, like like a piece, like a fruit rather than a vegetable. Like I'd rather look like a peach or a strawberry than a potato. Even though me and potatoes are like that, don't get me wrong, I love potatoes, but I don't want to eat them all day. I don't want to eat starch all day. And I want to be vibrant and having that living nutrition into my cells. It's just so important to have that living nutrition. Get as much as you can into your cells every day. Something I find is that, you know, I have occasionally had starch for lunch, but then I want fruit later the on. The secret is you've got you to gotta have as much sugar in the day Simple as you sugars. Can. And you've got to have as much sugar to it. The thought of having more sugar is like, oh, blah. And then you have your savouries afterwards, your vegetables. Or else you're gonna want you're gonna want the simple sugars because you haven't got that quota of sweet, or you you're gonna end up having a dessert. That's Which what means you didn't have enough simple sugars that day. Yeah, that means you didn't have enough fruit. So it's always best to get your sugar from fruit rather than some dessert, some processed dessert. So we just had, I just had so, today for breakfast I had mangoes, I had about fifty dollars worth of mangoes, which was about uh, four or five mang or five mangoes. Six mangoes, maybe. And then lunch, I had dry banana, half a kilo, 700 grams. And then just before, I had about a kilo of cherries. That's about 20, 30 bucks. Smashing it in. And now we're going to go to an all you can eat Indian restaurant for 10 bucks. Yeah, we love our starches. We really do. For dinner. We love them for dinner. And if we can get high quality fruit um, on tap, like Adelaide's becoming like that, you know, we're getting the stone fruit coming in, we've got cherries. It's not really on tap, but it's, it's you know. It's beginning to be like, much easier to yeah, be relative to what it is mostly normally. raw or even all raw so but you got to spend big bucks you got to be pretty financially well off to to afford good quality fruit and then you have to find it yeah but the reason we hold our standard to that of having breakfast and lunch is because it is it's really healthy you know in my experience the people who eat the most calories from fruit and obviously getting enough fruit i'm not talking about how people are anorexic are the most vibrant they're more vibrant, more fit, more healthy than those who are just eating starch all day.
You know your diet's and working for you. If you I know people butt. hate on me for that comment, but that's just my experience. Don't hate on me for my experience. You can if you want, whatever. Sorry. If you, uh, yeah, you, just, you, want, you want to have a higher level of fitness. You know, it's fitness is so important. Yeah. Fitness is, it takes years to get really fit. We're talking about starches, though. Yeah, but some people go, oh, I eat vegetable, oh, kale. And, well, and digestion. Digestion as well. Um, starch all day. Mm. Unless you're doing a lot of exercise, your digestion is not going to be as efficient and ha as having that high water fruits. Um, yeah, high fiber fruits. Like the, the fiber is so good for your bowels and your elimination. But the thing with, with starch is, is to make them high water content if you're going to have them for breakfast. So if I was going to have starch for breakfast, which I've had before, I'd have like, you know, like a liter of water with rice and sugar and just make it like a big soup and have just high water content and that works fine. But if you have dry rice for breakfast, it's a bit like, well, so high water content. But like, you, you kind of don't have an excuse, you know, not to have fruit for breakfast. I mean, you can have dates just about anywhere in the a world. Data raid. And a data raid is like fantastic. And I have it even when I've got the highest quality fruit, I'm surrounded by highest quality fruit, mangoes and everything. I still want my data raid in the mm. morning. It's a good way to get in the hydration as well, because you can put like one and a half liters of water with your dates and blend that up. It's just, it's amazing. It's so good for your elimination, for your skin, for your mental state. And for me personally, someone said today, why don't you eat 100% raw Harley anymore? And I just, I can't maintain weight. You know, 66 kilos, 65 is probably as light as I want to get. And I can get down to 55 kilos eating a raw, but I know my performance is going to be going downhill and I'm not going to look the part. So for the main reason I don't eat all raw, even if I could access all the fruits, it's just, it's get too lean. I'd be too lean and people are like, whoa, man. Well, I... You know? I want to go... You, what about you? Yeah, no, I like... I like 100% raw and when the fruit is really good, that is, like, my, my goal, mainly to be 100% raw. Like, I do like eating out, though. I love my eating out. I really do. And it feels good being raw till four, so there's not any great desire to be 100% raw, but always, always, I believe that because we're frugivores, we are designed to have a fruit diet, fruit heavy diet. Yeah. So my goal, you know, 100% raw is a fantastic goal to have, and I have that during the it's summer. Not 100% raw, but 100% fruit and vegetable. Yeah, yeah. Raw well, can mean like cashews. I mean, most cacao, people who call themselves 100% raw are eating cooked nuts anyway. Yeah, well, no one's 100% raw. We should say like, you know, 95% plus your calories coming from fruits. Really, that's a good objective way to say it. Yeah. Because raw means fuck all, really. We don't yeah. think raw, but they're like... Uncooked failing. fruits and veggies. Yeah, like it's really the ideal. It's the optimum. But, you know, the raw till four is a real world solution. Real world. That everybody can do. Everybody can have fun. We can go out. We can have dinners out like Hare Krishnas. Yeah, it, it and gives incredible results. I mean, look how fit we are, you know. Look at these biceps. It's incredible. Mm. I'm not a bigger man. Look at the shoulder. I've got a bit of shoulder happening here. I don't know, Harley. Yours are more tanned. Anything else? Let's wrap it up. Okay, we better wrap it up. We're going to have our little feast now, and I'll show you a little bit of footage from that. And that's it. There's mangoes in the back. I said $140 oh, yeah. worth. $140. Bucks. Go, oh, well, you guys are driving them into the restaurant. The mangoes, in the they're not even ripe yet. They'll be ready maybe two or three days. $140, bucks, and that's like a tray each mm -hmm. for a you know, big meal, meal and a half. How cool is that? Like, window in the background <laughs> gives you something else to look at. Okay, we're going. We'll see you soon. Okay, so here we are at the buffet. There's your... It's underneath. Yeah. We've got a whole lot of salad. It's really nice salad on top. It's got this tomato -y sauce. And then um, got a curry, a curry and rice underneath. There's a, my hair is in the way. A bit of tofu veggie. Probably get stuck in. So this is what I like to do with my salad. Make it into like a warm rice salad. Mix in the, the lettuce. It's so quiet in here. Right. So mix it in so it's got all the different textures. Hey Rubat, so we're home from dinner and that was a beautiful, beautiful dinner. And I just want to make sure that you know that I am supportive of any high carb, unlimited calorie vegan lifestyle like the McDougal Plan Light Starch Solution. It is awesome. It's cruelty free lifestyle. It's a vegan lifestyle. I say go for it. Okay, so I want you to know that. And, you know, if that's what suits you, you do that because it is helping the animals, it's helping the planet, and it's helping your health at the end of the day. And that's what we want. 
So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And I will see you on the, not on the weekend, no. I'll see you on Monday. Make sure you have a fruitful or rootful weekend. And I'll see you soon.